Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Kyle Avery, the president of New England Storm Chasers, along with head of operations, James Sinko. And we are heading towards Springfield, Vermont. Um, hold on, there's a cop up ahead. I have to put the camera down. But um, we are pursuing a storm. Uh, right now, it's west of uh, our location right now. So we're heading towards Springfield. And it looks like it's pretty good. Um, it did have some overshooting tops at one point but we'll take a look and see uh, how severe it will be when it hits Springfield. Alright, I think I can pull my camera up now. Yeah, we're good. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so we're on... Vermont State Trooper doing a patrol. Yeah, so we're on Interstate uh, 91, uh, heading north towards Springfield. Uh, we're about nine, almost nine and a half miles away. Yeah, almost there. Almost there, so it's going to head dead on in Springfield, so... I don't know if you guys want to take a look, but that's the storm tops of it. Spiking above 35,000. Yep, 35,000 footers. So, pretty nice. Wow, that thing is just monstrous. Yeah, we're racing northward right now. Yeah, there's actually a good, if you see the gray ahead of us, that's actually uh, another storm system that just went through uh, Sullivan County, New Hampshire. So, even though we're in Vermont, but that's part of it. It's part of the uh, cold front that's coming through. Yeah, we're going to get into this one really soon. It uh, looks like when we get to Springfield, we're going to get hit oh pretty hard. Oh my god. You can see a lot of updrafts in it. Yeah, I just got an update from a friend in Lindenville, Vermont. Uh, they have quite a bit of hail falling right now. That's gonna, that's way north of us, of course, but... Up a bit now. Yeah, we want to try to get out of these hills. And we've got rain. Yep. Precipitation is beginning to fall here. There's we are spring. just now arriving here at Springfield. Where I want to be. Yeah, fortunately it's a little hilly, but what can you do about it? It's time to get some of the outflow. Winds are starting to pick up too. It's mostly flat out here. Not, eh, not too bad, but there's some hills in the area. Yeah. It's not too bad. Here's that storm, baby. Right here. Wow. Yeah, I can see right behind me some updrafts, so. Alright, let's. Good location when we get off here. go. Springfield. And our exit. And we'll try to find an open area. I thought I saw a lake back there, so that will be a good spot to actually get some recordings. Alright. Another great spot. We'll try to see what we get here. Alright folks, we're in Springfield, Vermont. We're at Route 5 and 11. We're going to need to take a right for Springfield. Yeah. All right, we're going to go right. Actually, we have another four miles before we're actually in Springfield. So we're going to go right here. Oh, geez, we're going to drive right into it. We're going to go turn right towards it. <laughs> oh, my God. There you go, guys. There's the storm right here. We are oh driving God, right into this Insane updrafts. Insane updrafts. Wow, look at the outflow on that. Yeah. Just beautiful. Good outflow. Some of these tops on these clouds are spiking above 35,000 feet, which is really oh. good for up here. 
in Vermont. Yep. We're on route 11 and 106, heading westbound. have a signal here. We're going to actually head towards Chester. Okay. Oh, I hope it's... We'll get into it a little opening. Oh, look, there's another cumulus top right there. Oh, See there's it? a spiker right there. That's a, that's a spike right there. It's a good camera. That's probably spiking at least 28,000. That's definitely a good spike. I'm getting a bunch of people texting me. Oh my god, it's getting dark. <laughs> We're going to be driving into the mother of this one. Checking uh, NECN weather app. Oh my god, that thing's... Jeez. It's rapidly updrafts. Especially in this storm right here. I'll keep an eye on this one. So far, no, I don't see any lightning yet, but it's probably in the storm. And, oh, I think I see an opening up here. Yep. Yeah, what we got going on, folks, is these storms are firing, but there's quite a bit of rain out ahead of them. That's what's forming. That's what we're seeing. It's moving in our general direction. It's going to be at least another 30 minutes before these are on top of us, but we are going to be experiencing some heavy rain. Uh, wind out with some wind in this, too. Looks, I actually have to take the sunglasses off so I can see this, but it looks really good. The sun's now gone behind the trees. Another top right there. That's probably a 15,000 foot or 20,000 footer over to the left. Yep. God, this whole entire system is it. <laughs> Literally, it's coming right over us. We're going to be trapped right in it for sure. It's mostly flattened here, too. This looks like this is going to be our storm for the day. Oh, yeah. I mean, rain shower or not, but I'm still excited to see this. There's quite a bit of severe weather behind it. I mean, this, they're all severe warned behind us have to deal with uh, maneuvering around the town here. If we can find a lake out here, this will be perfect. <laughs> and we can get, you know, good shots. Yeah, look at the cell right behind us. And it's... Wow. Uh, you guys can take a look. I wish my GPS would restart. It's not restarting. It's frozen. There's Sears in front of this storm. developing system. I wish there was a lake out here. I know. Something like an opening. This is like behind the scenes with uh, Kyle and James Cinco. <laughs> <laughs> like New England Storm Chasers. <laughs> Even so, I want some high ground too so I can get a good view. That's what I'm trying to see if there's any places I can go that go high ground. Hey, Kyle. Yeah. We're... Yeah. We are in uh, Springfield, Vermont. Uh, about to pro... We're on our way to... Yeah. I think we're going to move through Springfield and see if we can get a westerly facing area because this whole friggin' town is all hilly. Can't friggin', can't friggin' see Jack. But... Okay. Alright. Awesome. Thank you very much. I'm going to have to let you go because... I'm in, I'm in town, I can't even navigate, I gotta navigate, so, alright, bye.
GPS is frozen. GPS is frozen. It won't even. It's stuck on the screen. 